Welcome back, everyone. With us today is the fabulous Mrs. North Dakota International 2019, Jesse Ahmed. And now we also have Lilia Rexon, Miss Preteen North Dakota International 2019, here to talk about some upcoming events, including a Girl Scout workshop and volunteering in our community. Ladies, both of you, welcome back to the show. And we're going to start uh, with you, Jesse, because I want to know what you have going on, and that's going to lead us right into Lilia yes, as well. Yes, so I have a Girl Scout workshop coming up called Take Heart. Uh, take heart means to gain courage and confidence in a difficult situation, and that's so many times where our title holders come from with their platform. Um, so I've been able to collaborate with Girl Scouts and with International Pageants to bring sort of those two passions of mine together. So upcoming, we have the last one of our current reign will be January 5th. And so we're going to do it up big. We're going to do gowns and crowns and, and encourage the girls to come in their favorite dress up. And then we will have Lilia as our main speaker, and her platform is Love Always. Well, Lilia, could you start by telling us, you know, a little bit about you? How old are you? <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I'm 12 years old. I have two brothers, and I'm just so new to this pageant, and so it's kind of like a blast for me. Like, it's something really new, and so I've been having so much fun so far. I bet the, the last year just went way too fast for mm -hmm. you guys. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about your platform and how you came up with it. Well, my platform is Love Always. I have a special acronym for love. L is let all you do be done in love. That's First Corinthians 16, 14. O is offer gifts and talents through service. V, volunteer whenever you can. And E is empower others by enriching their lives. And love always just means that I want to spread more kindness, joy, and happiness to everyone through love. And I actually do a simple kind of love like this. And I make a little heart tag. And this is watercolor. and because I really love to paint. So, and this is for you to keep. Oh, so. well, thank you. I love that. Uh, so what are some of the events that you've done throughout the year and some of the places you've got to, to speak to people at? Well, I got to go to Hope Looms. I get to go to classrooms and talk to the children and we make little hearts on canvases and it's just amazing how they light up because of that they see a princess. <laughs> so we have some pictures that you sent us in advance of this interview. Tell us, what are we seeing here? Well, that is at the Great Commission. Um, this is at NASA Bahamas. I got to work there and I got to package meals for homeless and then I got to also go deliver some meals. And so it was really fun and I've met this guy named Cleveland. He's a man who's blind and so he was just really funny. He had a really great sense of humor, and he asked if we could pray for him, and it was just awesome. I love that. What, are, what picture is this? This is the New Life Center. I have just recently started working there a couple of times, and so basically I just serve meals and to all of these men, and it's just an honor to serve them because of the basic need of food they need. Volunteering. I love this. Volunteering, and you're so young. Um, I also love that well, I'm a mom of two daughters. I'm always looking for, you know, great role models and, and a positive message. What is, from this whole year and from your new life, you know, in the pageant, mm -hmm. what's your advice to young girls these days? Well, I would say, first of all, join Girl Scouts because you gain so much leadership and it's just such a fun activity for others. and also to join the international pageant system because I have gained so much poise and confidence and it's just truly amazing how, how much I've grown. I, I can't. You are so poised. Isn't and she? 12 years old. Come on. It's really incredible. Uh, Jesse, it's obvious like why you chose her to, to speak <laughs> at your workshop, but how do people sign up for your workshop and what else what can they expect? Yes, so we will have, again, lots of title holders with Lilia being our main speaker, um, all sorts of different topics um, from mental health to disabilities to fighting hunger in our communities. Um, and again, this is going to be kind of a big shebang one where we're going to dress up and just really have a lot of fun with the girls. It'll be January 5th, and the best place to register is just the Girl Scout website. It's gsdakotahorizons.org. Look under events and take heart. Or you can contact me via Facebook too. I'm always being obnoxious and all over there. So <laughs> I love it. And uh, your platform, that's kind of what you're going to be yes. speaking on. Any uh, little extra nugget you could give us right now uh, that we can expect at the workshop? Well, I am going to be making little cards for um, a 
place where they give out birthday stuff and it's just so cool because some people don't even have a cake or yeah. any presents for their own birthday and so we're going to be making cards for them to go along with those birthday bags. Wow, that's really incredible. One more picture here from your year-long reign. Here you are volunteering at the Great Plains Food Bank. Yes, the Great Plains Food Bank is tied with the backpack program and what we do there, we package food so that those bags of food get traveled to schools where students can have over the weekend because some students don't even have food, enough food to have over the weekend and they're just so hungry and I just really want to help them because of their basic need too. Well, you are doing an incredible <laughs> job. Very impressive, very inspiring. Both of you, thank you so much for coming in today. Stay with us coming up next here on North Dakota Today. We have our money guy in. We're going to talk about protecting yourself from fraud.